Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, November 3rd, Election Day in the United States of America, and I hope everybody's having a great day. It's a crisp but sunny morning um, here at Wrightsville Beach. And once again, of course, we're reading from Bob Goff's book, Live in Grace, Walk in Love, and I love the title of today's devotion. He writes, we shouldn't say everyone's invited if we're going to act like they're not welcome when they come. That'll preach. Here's our scripture. A certain man was preparing a great banquet and invited many guests. At the time of the banquet, he sent a servant to tell those who'd been invited, Come, for everything is now ready. This is from Luke chapter 14, verses 16 and 17. Bob writes, We've all attended a holiday with friends or family when we knew we weren't really wanted. The moment you walk in the door, you see forced smiles and hear the fake tone of voice that sounds like a news anchor trying to convince you they care. We know we're a nuisance before we sit down at the table. We all know what it's like to be invited out of a sense of obligation. It can be spotted in an instant. The same thing happens in our churches too. People feel like they're supposed to invite everyone because perhaps they read a story in the Bible about a wedding feast and inviting everyone to it. Here's the problem. They don't know what to do when people take them up on the offer. We don't know what to tell the kids about the person who uses salty language because they don't know the Christian speak, or the one who expresses their love in ways we don't approve of. We tell people to come as they are, but only if they'll change enough to make us comfortable once they arrive. That's not how love works. Love says we need you even more if you're different from the rest of us. Love says everyone has something to teach us, and God will use people from the edges to expand our understanding of his grace right in the middle of where we live. Love says everyone who's invited is truly wanted. We're meeting people at the starting line, not the finish line. We shouldn't say everyone's invited if we're going to act like they're not welcome when they come. And our question for today, who have you been treating like they're not welcome? Let me read that last paragraph again. We're meeting people at the starting line, not the finish line. So important to remember. We shouldn't say everyone's invited if we're going to act like they're not welcome when they come. Oh, what a great message for us today. Hope we take that to heart. God bless you. Bye-bye.